So, hey, Robin, I uh, appreciate you spending some time with us this morning. Um, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from? Absolutely. I am Robin Poling. I am from West Virginia, here right in the center part of the state. And I've been a hospitality professional for at least 20 years, probably more than that, but we'll just leave it at that. And I enjoy working with people who play in meetings. Fantastic. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit. We have a topic that we wanted to uh, touch on. Everybody's excited to kind of get back in person. So networking, in fact, I'm, I'm going myself, I'm going to Las Vegas next week and I'm super excited about it. So in-person meetings, we want to talk about uh, some new trends, tips, and uh, setting your next event up for success. So why are in-person meetings even more important now than ever? I believe that the in-person meetings allow us to be authentic and it also allows meeting attendees to have that human touch, which we so desperately missed in the last uh, 24 months or so. So uh, in-person versus online, there's a place for both, but I really think it's so important. In fact, I attended um, a conference last Monday and Tuesday, the first one I had for months. And just to shake someone's hand, mm. it just gave me warm feeling all <laughs> over. I loved it. And to see people that I hadn't seen in over two years, I just walked away with that, the best feeling in the world. So I think that's the important part, to get that feeling back. Yes, That longing, yes. that human touch. I couldn't agree with you more. In fact, uh, I found myself even going to this event with more intention like i you know what i think before and i'm just speaking from my own personal do you get a sense that it's almost like people are taking these it's more of an opportunity now where it was almost like it was a given and we didn't really put much thought into it do you, do you get that same sense i totally agree with that yes yes you you want to seek out people you want to meet them that you want to have your face in front of them and with all of the online yes you saw them but it it just wasn't there it just wasn't like seeing a person giving them a hug mm. shaking a hand uh you know seeing how, how they're doing and just again that human touch is so important to us all absolutely so someone that's that's going to a two or three day event and i'm at much like we just talked about before i'm going with this with intention i want to get as much out of this as mm -hmm. as humanly possible and i know there's you can get distracted and, and it's you've got that shiny object syndrome where you know you get you get off track so how if somebody is planning to go to um you know the, their first few in-person events how can they get the most out of those um i think most organizations today will share their attendee list and so i like to do my homework and go through that attendee list and maybe even pick out uh you know certain people vips that i want to um to see in person um maybe it's a business associate that i want to put my face in front of so i think mm. doing your homework and so you know and and networking with a purpose i think that's that's the key to success in networking events that's actually a really good tip in fact i'm gonna do that myself that was uh i hadn't even thought about that so that's uh, appreciate that tip um so what are some some you know obviously we're we always talk about okay we're going to do we're going to put the, in this much effort we're going to get this much out of it so outcomes is always something i'm trying to focus more on myself so what are some uh, some outcomes that you can expect from um from in person versus versus online i think an outcome is again that connection building that relationship you might just shoot an email and say, hey, it was lovely meeting you. Um, I hope your granddaughter is doing well, maybe from a conversation that you had uh, during that networking event. I just think the connection that establishing a relationship, which you know businesses depend on today, it's not just transactional, it is relationship building and relational. So that's what I think is the, the biggest outcome. Of course, then if you've done your homework, you actually get to meet the folks that you uh, really targeted to meet, then maybe you'll get business. So there's your ROI on the networking event. Um, and it just, it is um, encompassing. And I think that it allows you to uh, 
put your brand out there. Let them see you, let them know who you are, as well as learning about them and how maybe you can um, work together to, because uh, synergy, you know, is better than, than one and one. Absolutely. Um, so being top of mind, in fact, that's been some of the conversation that I've had this, this week on some other things. Do you have a particular like follow-up? Do you, do you do anything after you come to, to the event? Say you've, 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 you've made, you've made some, some great connections and you felt that, that synergy there. What, do you have any tips or anything that you've done? Uh, that I do. Yes, absolutely. I think it's important that you follow up that you make that connection, you um, send your contact information. A lot of people are not using business cards, they're using the QR codes, but that gets kind of lost mm -hmm. sometimes in your yep. system, your phone. So I think, again, that personal connection that, that I, I did see you, I, I wanted to meet you, I met you, and, and here's my contact information if I can ever be of assistance, or if you had a specific conversation about a certain piece of business, then you follow up with that. But I think it's important to follow up with, I, I say within the next five, five business days. Mm. It's so important because if you're like me, you've mm. moved on to something else Absolutely. and uh, right. So to establish that relationship, you need to touch base. Yeah, no, that's, that's a, that's great advice. And um, you, you hit on a really good point there about being, you know, we've got this, this, I think this first intention of, of technology, we always got to lead with that. But I often, like you just mentioned, there are coming from both sides of the fence where I started my career before computers, I'll give you kind of an idea how much I date myself, but there are, there's so many opportunities to, to do things traditionally. And I think having things tangible and ironically, we're talking about in-person events versus the online going to events, giving somebody, handing them something that's not electronic that they can take their touch. They feel there's in that, not that other dimension there, right? Absolutely. Totally agree with you. That's, yeah. that's the important part of in person events versus online. Online is not going away. Uh, and I think it allows you to uh, reach a broader audience, but boy, there is nothing like a handshake and uh, a hug even, or just seeing another face that's, that's the connection. That's the relationship. That's how we want to move forward. Absolutely. Uh, I couldn't agree with you more. Some great stuff. Um, before we leave today, do you have any, uh, do you have a, a takeaway, a tip insider? How about a secret uh, sauce from Robin that you could share with us? Secret sauce. Hmm. I don't know that I have a secret sauce, but I think diligence again, you need in all organizations to prove the ROI on these networking events. And I think making that connection, following up, there's your ROI. And it has worked for me. Um, and, and I think if you just follow those simple rules, it'll work for you. That's wonderful. Hey, what I just thought of something. I, I wanted to share with you my, what I'm taking. I love going to these shows and, and using creativity and things that you can as lead behinds that we talked about. I forgot, yes. I forgot to. Somebody had handed me a $2 bill as a conversation starter. I still have it on my desk. And so I would never throw it away, right? It's money. Hey, it's bright. I always thought it's interesting. Like, where did you get this? So I'm like, she goes, I got them at my bank. So I went down there and I got a stack of $2 bills that I'm gonna hand out. And I put a little sticker on that as a, as, as kind of a, a, a can opener conversation starter. So. That's absolutely that sets you apart that that shares your brand. I love it. It's memorable. Yes. Yes. I, and again, that's that's that tangible thing, right? Where people are always going to go QR code. Right. I, to stand out. It's I, I like to go to Zag where people are zigging me Zag. And that's where I love uh, pulling in some of that create creativity on both sides. So, yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Great. Well, good luck with your show. I hope you Thank enjoy you. it. So, hey.